Why did you get into journalism? Curiosity. Why'd you get into it? You. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you my friend, Dan Rather. I'm the producer. I put the team together. We have Lucy Scott to run point. Colonel Roger Charles worked Abu Ghraib for us. Mike Smith he was a researcher for us back in 2000. What's our next move? I might have something for the election. The president of the United States may have gone AWOL from the military. He never even showed up. Those parts of his file they didn't like, they tossed in a wastebasket. Do you have these documents? These really are the holy grail of documents. You've got three hours. We're out of time. Start outputting. Go! Go, 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 go! Tonight, we have new information on the president's military service. Here's to a great story. Hey, Mary, these blogs are saying that the memos can be recreated in Microsoft Word. Several experts have raised serious questions. They're going to start an investigation. This is bad. They do not get to do this. They do not get to smack us just for asking the question. They want to talk to your source. No. It's bad. I never should have asked a question. You got to make your case, honey. You have to fight. Somebody has got to confirm those memos. This isn't a trial. This is a hunt. What we are talking about is you bringing your politics into your report. I did nothing of the kind. Where does politics not enter into this? Our story was about whether the president fulfilled his service. Nobody wants to talk about that. They want to talk about fonts and forgeries. And they hope to God the truth gets lost in the scrum. 